Obviously, one of the first and most important steps is making sure that you have a really useful, proper setup, a space to revise that's just for you. Clearly, some areas are kind of a little better suited than others, um, so it's really important that you find a nice quiet spot. Let's go and find somewhere. So that is much better. So when you're trying to set up a, an ideal spot for a revision space, you're looking for a couple of things. You're looking for a space where you're going to be able to minimize distractions. And the truth is, for different people, that might look a little bit different. Really good choices include a desk space in a bedroom, uh, a home office, or even an open plan kitchen um, can work really, really well. And some students really benefit from having a little bit of gentle movement in the background, knowing that parents are around um, or, or siblings are kind of also in that space working. It helps to create kind of the sense of oversight that this is a, a spot to be working, not a spot to be relaxing. As I said, uh, bedroom desks can be really, really useful as well, but do be careful to avoid studying on your bed. Uh, we know lots of studies will show that you get big issues later on, and especially in terms of stress and anxiety in exams, that sleep can suffer if we associate our bedrooms with a spot to revise and be working. Other really good places to consider might be uh, public libraries or obviously classroom spaces and the library here in school as well. Thanks very much. Good luck finding the perfect spot for you.